So Don Cherry's fired on Remembrance Day, and I don't think that is a mistake. Welcome back to Andrew Says, coming at you live from my igloo in my hockey jersey in support of hockey itself, I guess. Don Cherry fired for divisive comments. Don Cherry fired for anti-immigrant comments. Don Cherry fired for you people comments. What do you mean, you people? I don't believe you people. Huh. What do you mean, you people? What do you mean, you people? Now what's the irony in that clip? Well, let me tell you, Justin Trudeau, Prime Minister of Canada, does actual blackface, doesn't lose his job. Don Cherry says, you people, with no men mention of any specific race or origin. And, uh, well, let's just show you what he says. It's pretty short. Let's see it. I was talking to a veteran. I said, I'm not going to run the poppy thing anymore because what's the sense? I live in Mississauga. Nobody wears, uh, uh, very few people wear uh, a poppy. Downtown Toronto, forget it, downtown Toronto, nobody wears a poppy. And I'm not going to, he says, wait a minute, how about running it for the people that buy them? Now, you go to the small cities, and you know, you, you know those, the rows on rows, you people love, you, you, they come here, whatever it is, you love our way of life, you love our milk and honey, at least you could pay a couple of bucks for poppies or something like that. These guys pay for your way of life that you enjoy in Canada. These guys pay the, uh, the biggest price. So if you don't know who Don Cherry is, yes, that's it, first of all, but he's been doing after the first intermission of hockey he's been doing the saturday night games for i don't know a bajillion years at least 30 years hella popular people love him he supports a lot of great causes like the troops like especially he would mention whenever a troop died in afghanistan he would mention all their names on every saturday night uh good guy for the most part he says stuff people don't like a lot for a long time but this time he's gone too far uh, fired immediately for you people or whatever is what he said. Uh, well, not immediately, I guess. They waited till Monday and they fire him on Veterans Day and Remembrance Day in Canada. Why, you say? To make an example out of him. To make an example out of you. You can say anything, but if it isn't progressive, then you're done. You can't be pro-Canadian. You can't be Western society. That's at least how it comes across. Anybody who says anything uh, against a progressive, like, and I'm not just meaning like a left-leaning or centrist, anything against that. If you'd say anything against the mantra of like far, far-leaning political people, you're done. You can't, you're some sort of bigot if you do. And I don't think that's a secret to anyone anymore except for the people who agree with it. They think this is completely normal. I don't see why, of course he should be fired. I saw people that I know posting that you can't say that on TV. You can't say you people or whatever. First of all, what he said is so unspecific, it's harmless. And they say that he thinks, they're saying that he thinks because he said uh, you people, that he can just spot an immigrant. That's what I was reading people say. You think you can just spot an immigrant, Don Cherry, by looking at them? Because if they're not white, you think they're immigrants? That's you. That's the person saying that. That's what you believe, not him. He didn't say anything like that. Expressing your own thoughts and claiming that somebody else did it and saying that it's bigoted, that's just your thoughts being bigoted and you're just voicing them. And somehow you're not making this connection. It's hypocrisy is what it is. And you can say whatever you want. You can say whatever you want to these people as long as they agree with it. But it, they're... Because there's been obviously a million things he said that they agree with or just don't aren't upset by. But as soon as they say something that he doesn't agree with, you should not be on the air. That's the mentality here. Now, I'm not mad. This doesn't really affect me, so I'm not mad. And Rogers Sportsnet, they're a private company. They can do whatever they want. They can have the personalities that they want. It doesn't upset me. It's your company. I just think it's a ridiculous stance to, to take. It's a weird hill to die on, and it's all too typical. And it just feeds into this narrative that you're against anything Western culture that people already have a suspect of uh, from the media. Cherry is not apologizing, though. Here's the, here's the headline. No apology from Don Cherry. It says, uh, don't worry, though, Don. Others will apologize for you. His co-host that I mentioned, Ron McClain, they've been together since the 80s, or perhaps the 1880s. Perhaps the, just the year 80 with dinosaurs. <laughs> that doesn't line up. Don't fact check me on that. The year 80 did not have dinosaurs, as far as I know, according to Scientological uh, doctrine. But Ron McLean, uh, you can see him not along, nodding along. Play it again here. You can see him nodding along. Uh, Got to do my cherry voice, I guess. Sure again! He's nodding here, and they've been together for 30-ish 30 30 -ish years. But what does he do? 
What does Ron McClain do? Does he stay silent, which he probably should do? Does he come out and support his old friend? No, he goes searching for the largest Greyhound bus he can find, and he says, let me throw you under that. Let me take you, Don Cherry, by your old weird suit and throw you under that. Roll the tape, let's go! Canada. Don Cherry made remarks which were hurtful, discriminatory, uh, which were flat out wrong. Uh, we at Sportsnet have apologized. Uh, it certainly doesn't stand for what Sportsnet or Rogers represents. Uh, we know diversity is the strength of the country. Uh, we see it in the travels with our show and with Hockey Night in Canada. So I owe you an apology too. That's the big thing that I want to emphasize. I sat there, uh, did not catch it, did not respond. Um, Catherine Denise, uh, it's on a First Nation, uh, once said, uh, in any wrongdoing, the, the real key is recognition and acknowledgement. And I wanted to let you know uh, that first, uh, and then you work on the relationship uh, so that it isn't divisive, so that something can be a, a unifying event. Uh, Idle No More was a great lesson to all of us. Last night was a really great lesson to Don and me. We were wrong, uh, and I sincerely apologize, and I wanted to thank you uh, for calling me and Don on that last night. Um, they were hurtful. They were These were discriminatory words. Um, diversity is our strength. Uh, praise China. Praise Justin Trudeau. I'm sorry. You were nodding, you lunatic. I don't understand this. He sounds like, he sounds exactly like LeBron James defending China. And Ron McLean, as we say here in Canada, you're done, bud. Or even, you're dust, bud. For him to go on screen and do this fake apology on behalf of, like, his uh, corporate overlords and literally just start talking like a government-funded robot, it's unbelievable he would cave this easily for a friend and co-host that he's had for a hundred years. Mm, diversity, offensive, discrimination, activate apology protocol 6004. Sportsnet who fired him, they say Don's discriminatory comments are offensive and they don't represent our values and what we stand for as a network. We severely apologize for these divisive, divisive remarks. Praise China. Praise Praise Justin Trudeau, please don't stop watching us. The mayor of Mississauga, which he mentioned in his rant said, for coaches corner to say that you people do not respect or our veterans is despicable. To say that you people do not respect or are terrible writing, mayor of Mississauga. We're proud of diverse cultural heritage and will always stand up for it. New immigrants enrich our country for the better. We're all Canadians and we wear our poppies proudly. Oh, the outrage everyone. Again, you're literally inferring what he means. You don't know what he meant by you people. And without explanation, you're just inferring something. You're just, you just think he meant something and you're going with it. This is, which, this is showing bias on these people's parts. Somebody uses a vague word and you just fill in the blank. You're like, that's what he means. He must be, he must mean this. It's like grade, grade seven English class here. You can't, uh, you can't infer this on your own. You can't. This is like, this is what a cult is. You just say these phrases and hope that people praise you. My name is Jane. My name is also Jane. We love you, Jane. <laughs> I'm sorry. But not all people inherently enrich your country. Not all people who are born in the country you're talking about automatically make it better. That's why you sound like a lunatic. Do criminals make your country better? Do murderers automatically make your country better, whether they're born there or not? No one's saying immigrants are bad. I'm certainly not saying it. Sounds like you're saying it though, when you're taking taking vague words and just applying it to all people who are non-white, because it's a monolith, everybody. Somebody told me the other day I'm not very offensive, which is why they like me. The I'm down the middle of the road. I might be. I might lose them here. And I'm I'm being told actually. I'm being told that we got to run the the non uh, bigotry disclaimer. I'm sorry. Andrew says in no way supports bigotry. That includes, but is not limited to, white supremacy, black supremacy. Hard shell tacos, pineapple on pizza, taking up two parking spots at the same time, watching men's tennis, watching women's golf, watching men's tennis in place of women's golf while originally intending to watch the opposite gender in each respective sport. So my hope is that, uh, do we have that covered? Do we have that out of the way? My hope is that somebody else hires him. Uh, he was being paid a lot, of, a lot of money, so obviously some people think he's worth it. He must generate income. Maybe he'll appear on Joe Rogan now, which is the Redemption Center, who knows? I hope he doesn't just fade away. I hope he just doesn't become obsolete. And uh, so what I'm going to leave you with is a terrible clip from Don Cherry's, I guess you could call them mixtapes, Rock'em Sock'em 5, where he tried to rap. This has been Andrew Says. Remember, I wouldn't lie to you except for maybe this once. Remember to go to Patreon, just $1 a month. I'm running out of time here. I love you all. Let's go!
Let's go! Listen, listen. 